In entertainment news, reggae singer AJ Brown recently announced that he will be the guest lead singer for the legendary Third World Band on the U.S. tour. In a release sent to Mikey TV, the singer said it's an exciting time for him and he feels confident his presence will be a positive one. Third World is set to perform right here in California this October. The chart-topping dance hall diva with the signature braids is back in the spotlight. Fans are buzzing for the long-awaited return of Patra. She topped the international dance hall charts in the 90s, but she's back again. The DJ returns to the spotlight with her latest single, Come Over. Hey, Medellas. Yeah. Only y'all one can get a collab like this now. Why you say Patra? Boy, come over. Boy, come over. Just step over. Yo. And LA is definitely getting some Caribbean love this fall with upcoming shows featuring Frankie Paul, Diljan, Miami, Gail So Gorgeous and Grammy Award winning Beanie Man all set to perform here over the next few weeks. And as we wrap up the 2012 USA Carnival season, revelers are all geared up for Miami and LA. Miami Carnival kicked off early this week while the Los Angeles Caracabella Carnival gets underway Sunday, October 14th in Westchester Park. Plus it's going to be muy caliente with this month's Latin Spanish invasion. We are broadcasting live at the International Annual Cofeca Central American Day Parade, and I have the distinct honor and the pleasure. Right next to me to my right, this is His Excellency, Nesta Mendez. Nesta, how you doing today? I am doing great. It is an honor to be here for Belize and for Central America. For Belize, it is especially symbolic and important because for the first time, we are the official host of this tremendous Central American Parade, and we are the lead country. We have a lot of Belizeans out here showing their support. We have several flutes. We are the first country in the parade. The Grand Marshal of the parade is a distinguished son of our soil, Dr. Arlie Peters. So we're thrilled and honored to be here. How important is it that Belize be the host country of a Central American uh, parade? Belize is the bridge between Central America and the Caribbean. We belong fully in both families. And we believe that countries like Belize have a special role to play because to the extent that our Central American and Caribbean countries can come closer together and take their rightful place in the international arena, the better all of our countries will be. Because we're small countries and only when we are unified will we have the impact that our people deserve and our countries need. Un aplauso al gran mariscal. Awesome parade, good to be here. Bueno, viva Belize! Then check out our Caribbean star on the rise, a Mikey TV exclusive with the one Caribbean talent expected to turn heads at this year's Miami Carnival. Stay tuned for the Caribbean star on the rise. I'm Cece Douglas, designer of CMAS Productions, XCC Mass, and I'm here with Mikey TV, your Caribbean talent network, prepping for Miami Carnival 2012. So right now it's crunch time. We're here in the ninth hour. I've had five cups of coffee. We've been up since yesterday with no sleep. I'm here with my partner in crime, Cherise. We're just trying to hurry up and get everything completed to head to Miami from LA to show Miami Carnival how LA does it. It's been a very long two weeks. It started with Hollywood Carnival. This is my second attempt. And it's actually my second attempt in one year. Giselle Lawassi, when she came down for Hollywood Carnival and she saw my costumes, she thought they were really pretty and she said, hey, I want you on my team. And so one thing led to another and here I am making masks for Miami Carnival. is one of the biggest carnivals in North America and Hollywood is the entertainment capital of the world. So to be able to make masks in Hollywood and Miami, it's like, it's huge. It's an honor for me. I just feel really lucky to have my talents recognized on a scale in my first year of making masks. I'm a proud to be Trinidadian, Belizean American. My mother is from Belize, my father's from Trinidad, so, and I was born here. American girl. It basically all started with, I would say my upbringing. Um, even though I was born here, both my parents are, you know, Caribbean, so they, I always grew up in the culture and um, I went and played masks for the first time in Trinidad in 2009. And that's basically what inspired 
me to actually make it. I always had a love for masks, but that's really what inspired me to, you know, go ahead and try it on my own. What really makes a great costume is something that a large group of people with different views from different walks of life can all enjoy. You know, want to say, oh my God, that looks great. That's a great costume. One of the biggest compliments I've heard about one of CMAS production and CMAS costumes was that they love their costume, they didn't want to take it off, they want to sleep in it. For someone to come up to us and say that they love the costume that much that they didn't want to take it off is definitely a very big compliment. For Miami Carnival, I'm doing a whole section, which is just one design, um, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty nice size section. It's almost like basically four different designs because you have the male design, and then you have front line, and then you have back line, and then you have section leader, just with the same color. This headpiece right here is the section leader costume, so I'll be wearing this on the road from Miami Carnival. What goes into making a headpiece? Fabric, rhinestone, lots of feather, bling, beads. I actually bend the wire myself, which is not something normal designers do. Normally they get the headpieces pre-made and then they just design over it. But um, I like to take my creativity to the next level. I'm extremely meticulous, I'm a perfectionist, so it usually takes me a good week to put a whole brand new costume together, like headpiece, bra design, belt design, because I usually play with different concepts. It's just been paced right through. I enjoy what I do a lot, so I'm just having fun. I like to make masks. Follow me on Twitter at CMAS Productions. You can email me at cmassproductions at gmail.com or find me on Facebook at CMAS Productions. Miami, Miami here, here we come. come. For your eyes only, we have a sneak peek at the excitement that went down at this year's Mikey TV launch and reception here in Los Angeles, California. But that was ceremony for Mikey TV, right? Yeah, Mikey TV knows. There's no other TV like Mikey TV. So guess what? Tune in. Check it down here now. Chardonnay for my TV. It's a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs> Congratulations, to my TV. We're having a great time. Having a blast. <laughs> Lots of fun. First time, so looking for a lot. Looking forward to it. Okay. Yes. Can't wait for the after party. <laughs> Yay! After party. And next year. I am overwhelmed to see all the gorgeous pieces. I feel so touched, very, very overwhelmed, happy to be surrounded by friends and family and black people, I mean, you know, Caribbean people, um, you know. Can we sing it together? One love, come on, one heart, let's I get together and feel alright. Dress up in our trousers. Say what happened to Turn down the lights. Turn down the bed. Turn down these voices inside my head. I'd like to thank my agent. The agent? What do you mean, agent? How much fun she have? Because I can't make you love me. Don't. 
congratulations, Mikey TV. Sound today. No gunshot song. No way. 